So there's two different types of isotopes. Um, there are stable isotopes, like the one I just told you about, which have no time information. There's radiogenic isotopes, which are, decay um, at a certain rate. And so that's how we know how old the Earth is, right? That's how we know how old um, meteorites are, is by measuring the radioactive decay. And so there are ways um, people have used to, um, they use dating techniques for the, using these radiogenic isotopes in order to map out, you know, when the solar system first formed, when the first solids in the solar system formed. So those are called calcium aluminum inclusions, and they're thought to be the first solids that formed in our solar system. So we know how old those are. And then we know how old the parent bodies of the chondrites are, and we know how old the Earth is. So using those sorts of dating techniques, you can kind of get a timeline for when we had tiny little specks to when we had more planetary sized, to when the moon formed, that sort of timeline can absolutely be obtained. 